Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video, which will explore the city of Nishapur. Nishapur, also known as Nishapur, is one of the oldest cities in northeast Iran and serves as the center of Nishapur County. It is widely recognized for its turquoise stone, known as Faruze in Persian. Nishapur is situated at the foot of the Binalud mountain range. This gem of Khorasan transformed into a city over seven and a half thousand years ago and has been used as the capital twice throughout the history. The people of Nishabur, as residents and homeowners of this historically significant city, have played a prominent role in its development. Nishabur is the birthplace of many influential and notable figures in Iran, including Khayyam, Kamal al mok and Attar. In this video, we briefly mention some of the historical sites of this city. The Tomb of Khayyam Omar Khayyam, the Nishapuri philosopher or rather polymath, was born in Nishapur in 440 AH, which is 1048 AD and passed away after nearly eight decades of a fruitful life. His scientific rank far surpasses his literary status, although today most people know him through his delightful and famous quatrains. The beautiful tomb of this Iranian philosopher is located in the southeast of Nishapur. The mausoleum is situated in the middle of a 20,000 square meter garden, surrounded by evergreen and tall pine trees. The construction of the mausoleum began in 1338 and was completed three years later. Engineer Sahun made every effort in the design of this building to incorporate details reflecting the character of Omar Khayyam. The 18-metre mausoleum structure consists of 10 pillars that support each other in a hand-to-hand -hand fashion. The design of the Khayyam mausoleum resembles a tent when viewed from above, reminding us of his father, who was a tent maker. In addition to the combination of traditional and modern architecture, the inspiration was drawn from Khayyam's own persona. The circular shape on the floor of the tower with ten pillars is one of the earliest geometric forms. There is a pentagonal star in the design of the mausoleum symbolizing Khayyam's knowledge of astronomy. Both the interior and exterior of the mausoleum are adorned with mosaic tiles and Khayyam's poems, creating a poetic and mystical ambience. Each of the pillars exhibits two quatrains by Khayyam. Turquoise Mine Turquoise, known as a symbol of peace and tranquility in the world, is highly regarded, and Nishapur turquoise is the most exquisite and valuable turquoise in the world. One of the oldest turquoise mines in the world is Nishapur Turquoise Mine, where turquoise extraction began 2,000 years ago and continues to this day. The Nishapur turquoise mine is located in the Aliabad village and has a reserve of 9,000 tonnes. Approximately 19 tonnes of turquoise are extracted from the heart of the Nishapur mines each year and it is famous for its unique colour and high quality. Nishapur turquoise is the most renowned souvenir of Nishapur and turquoise carving is one of the oldest active industries in this city. The 
the wooden village. In this village, there is no sign of metal or concrete structures. In the wooden village, or Chubin, which was built by engineer Hamid Motedi, you will come across various attractions that include a museum, library, restaurant, shop, bakery, green spaces, and a wooden mosque. The wooden mosque in this village is a unique example of Islamic architecture that is unparalleled in the world. As the name suggests, the mosque is made entirely of wood. The mosque covers an area of approximately 200 square meters and is the first earthquake resistant wooden mosque in the world capable of withstanding earthquakes up to eight on the Richter scale. Each of the wooden minarets of this mosque are 13 meters high and weigh about four tons. The construction of the mosque alone required 40 tons of wood. All the wood used in this village are obtained from the personal garden of engineer Moshehedi. Attar's mausoleum in Nishapur. The mausoleum's wall is octagonal and on it rests a beautiful dome adorned with turquoise, lapis lazuli, white and yellow tiles which are mesmerizing to the eyes. From the outside you can see four rectangular chambers surrounding the mausoleum, all of which are beautifully tiled and covered with plaster on top. Every detail of the work is meticulously crafted while preserving the authenticity and antiquity of the tomb as much as possible. Attar's gravestone is in the form of a black column placed in the middle of the mausoleum and at its base a horizontal stone is placed on which a selection of Attar's best poems are inscribed in Thuleth calligraphy. Kamal al Malk Mausoleum. The Kamal al Malk Mausoleum is located just 10 steps away from the mausoleum of Attar Nashaburi. Muhammad Kafari, who received the title Kamal al Malk from Nasser al Din Shah for his artistic and unique paintings, was born in Kashan in 1224 AH. After studying at Dar al Funun school and creating over 170 valuable paintings, he passed away at the age of 93 and was buried in Neshapur. The Kamal al Malk mausoleum was designed and built in 1337 by Master Hashung Seyun in coordination with the Attar mausoleum. The prominent role of Kamal al Malk is also placed at on top of his tombstone. The Shah Abbasi Caravanserai In ancient times, Caravanserai held the rule of gold Caravanserais were built along various routes to provide both security for the journey and meet the needs of caravan members. Many historical caravanserai in the country were established during the Safavid period, especially during the reign of Shah Abbas. The Shah Abbasi caravanserai in Neshabur, as the name suggests, was built during the Safavid period under the rule of Shah Abbas. This historical structure 
was initially located outside the entrance gate of Mashhad. But with the expansion of the city's borders, it is now located in the centre of Neshabur. The plan of the Shah Abbasi caravanserai in Nashabur is in the form of a four-ivan layout. The large square-shaped plan of this caravanserai measures 69 by 68 metres, with a central courtyard surrounded by 24 chambers. During the Qajar period, this historical attraction in Nashabur was used for a while as a shelter or a place to care for the poor and orphans. Later, during the Pahlavi period, it was converted into a military barracks. Since 1995, this caravanserai has been transformed into the Neshabur Museum and sections dedicated to ethnography, archaeology and historical artefacts have been established there. Seven Caves Valley Contrary to its name, there are no actual caves in the Seven Caves Valley of Neshabur. This beautiful valley, which has been famous as the Seven Caves Valley for years, actually consists of seven narrow passages where rivers and numerous waterfalls flow. The mountains in this area are so close to each other that in some areas, passing through the narrow passages becomes challenging. The clay and reddish soil has created various forms due to different erosional forces. The steep slope causes the valley to take on a new shape and appearance every year after rainfall, with numerous large and small waterfalls emerging within it. Thank you for joining us this week and wishing you all a fantastic weekend getaway.